Every Cowgirl Goes to School. Written by Rebecca Janney and illustrations are by Lynn Everell. We have permission from Dial Books for Young Readers to read to you today. Every Cowgirl Goes to School. It was a brand new class and a brand new day, and I had it all planned out. Miss Clark even sent me a letter and a paper bag to fill with five things about me for show and tell. I stuffed the bag in my backpack and grabbed my cowgirl hat. Sorry, Mama said. No hats at school. It's a rule. The bus pulled up and I looked for my friend Anna, but she was already on board. Ginger tried to climb on too, but Mama held her back. No dogs on the bus. It's a rule. All the seats were full except one. Looks like someone got a front row seat, said Driving Ivan. Ms. Moore squished in beside me and practically sat on my lap. I peeked over my, my backpack and saw Anna talking with some girl. At school, Anna told me, I wanted to save you a spot, but everything was taken. Maya here made room for me. She's new at our school. Hello, Maya said in a voice like Bill's. Howdy, Podna. No, she said, my name's Maya. Well, hiya, Maya. Mrs. Clark had a place for everything. Lockers for backpacks, a cooler for lunch bags, and desks for the kids. Anna and Maya were right in the middle of the room, but I couldn't find my name anywhere. My desk was in the far back corner between the J-twins, Jacob and Joshua, who were wrestling over a purple marker. This brand new day was not going my way. After morning announcements, we pledged our allegiance and sang the good morning song. I started to strum my air guitar and the J-twins joined in. Mrs. Clark folded her arms and I froze like a popsicle. Maya whispered something in Anna's ear and they both laughed. In story time, we read about a bunch of animals going back to school. The J-twins thought they were dogs and I had to get away from their drool. I bumped into Maya and she gave me a look. Then it was time for P.E. Mr. Crabtree said, only tennis shoes on the gym floor. School rules. I pulled off my cowgirl boots and a kickball flew over and hit me in the leg. Ow! What do folks have against a good pair of boots? If soccer players warm, they wouldn't need shin guards. When P.E. was over, I had to go straight to recess in those tennis shoes. Anna and I were walking together, but Maya squeezed between us like a hound under a fence. She stepped on my shoelace and sent me flying. I landed in the playground pit and got a mouthful of sand. Are you all right? Maya asked. I tried to spit the sand out and ended up spitting right on Maya's foot. My new shoes, she cried. This brand new day was not going my way. Then the lunch bell rang. Lunch tasted kind of gritty with the leftover sand in my mouth. I washed it down the best I could with a carton of milk. Maya finished early and went back to class. She's nice, don't you think? asked Anna. I just took another drink. When Anna and I got back to class, there was a surprise on my desk. A picture of me. Looking like a cow. Look, Maya said, you make such a pretty cow. Nellie Sue by Maya. The whole class gathered around to see, and I could feel my face turning redder than Mama's tomatoes. The J-twins started to moo, and then others joined in. Moo, moo, moo. No shoes could get me out of there fast enough. I ran down the hall. This brand new day was not going my way. A voice behind me said, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I drew the picture because Anna told me you were a cowgirl and I thought cowgirls love cows. Please come back, Nellie Sue. I want to be your friend. Besides, it's time for the all about me bags. Suddenly I felt bad for not showing her enough cowgirl hospitality. I took her hand and we walked back to class together. When we got back, Maya started to crumple up the cow poster. Wait, I said, can I have it? Sure, she said, I made it for you. In class, Mrs. Clark handed us our All About Me bags. Anna stood in front of the class and showed us her ballet slippers and sparkly tiara. Maya showed a piano recital ribbon and a soccer trophy. 
the J twins got their bags mixed up and started wrestling again. When it was my turn, I lined up my things on the table. My picture of good old beauty, my two-wheeled horse, Ginger's favorite tennis ball, a Miley Smiley CD, a homemade blue ribbon I got for catching a goat, and the cow poster my new friend gave me. Maya smiled. The J twins started to moo again. I looked up and they said, I'm glad you know your animal sounds. And they got real quiet. Because cowgirls love horses and cows, I said. It was a brand new day and I decided it would go just my way. Maybe off to a little rough start, but every cowgirl goes to school.